In this week I wanted to concentrate to this kind of search of meaning and which by dialogue with composer, with other interpreters and what we can only humbly to give our view of the music written by the other. Because you cannot cut your own life experience out of experience of composer. In your private life, you say you are a Napoleon, they put you in a psychiatric hospital, but in our professional life, they want us to know what Bach wanted is his score. I think it's absolute illusion. What we can do with all honesty and all dedication to use all possible documents, all possible traditions, all possible sources to try to be convincing, to communicate our love to this music. What I noticed that in centuries before, the role of interpret was much larger. For example, everybody were not only interpreter of the music, but composer, improviser. In 20th century, the interpretation became total separate art. And for me, I like to have different experience. For example, I think experience of improvisation is totally vital. The greatest improviser of 20th century, in my view, is someone like Olivier Messiaen. And the greatest improviser of 19th century were Liszt or Chopin or Beethoven, Mozart, Bach. They were the greatest improviser. And uh, I think it's very vital to bring this art of improvisation in order. Then when you play uh, music strictly written on the score, it gives you more uh, uh, liveliness. Because when you improvise, you are composer yourself. One of this, this project called Double Dream. It's a two piano project with a jazz pianist who is like me, origin from Russia, but lives for many, many years in Norway, professor of improvisation in Oslo Conservatory, and great jazz musician Michel Perrin. And with him, we are doing kind of, we have both the same idea, how to make music more alive, more creative, and we try, both of us, really to communicate, to create something which is not really jazz, not classic. Each piece we take have a different way of a treatment. And uh, it's kind of conversation between two composers which create different musical world of our own. I'm not playing jazz, I'm improvising and composing and recomposing different elements. It's, it's rather sophisticated as a, and complex way to explain, but the result, it's always simple and it's very uh, joyful for the audience. And sometimes we do really very funny stuff. We do, for example, kind of mixture. It's like a comic theater between Haydn, uh, one playing piano concerto, and Mongolian opera. But most of the pieces in the program are very poetic and with different sound world. For uh, past 10 years, 
we manage every year to do something like 10 concerts because we have completely different life and completely different arts. But I know that each meeting with Misha is the uh, highest point of, in my creative life because it's real freedom of music making. <laughs> 